Julius, thanks for joining me today. I just wanted to get your a sense of being a Miami Dolphin. I mean, you've been in LA, that's, that's your home. Uh, now in South Florida, is it reality now that you get back in the building? Oh man, it's um, you know it's always you know things are settling in at different times, but you know it's really good to get out there and, and start working with a new team. Um, it's something that you know I've been looking forward to all off season, just getting in and getting to start to understand the guys, start to build that communication with them, but as well as you know uh, reacclimating myself with a with an offense that um, that I haven't been in for a while. You know it's kind of exciting to sit in those meetings and go, yeah, it makes sense, yeah, uh, I remember that. It, it must be fun because you had so much success in that offense with Adam Gase calling the plays and now you've you've got a, a, an assemblance of an offense that have explosive players just about at every position and, and you add to that at tight end. No, 100%. I mean, it's it's really uh, comforting for me to just be able to sit there and go, ah, oh, that's, that's what I remember. And, um, you know, that being the, the first offense that I ever really played in, you know, it feels a lot like home. So, you know, I've been able to have success in it. I understand kind of what it takes to, to play at a high level. So it's definitely comforting for me. And then just to see the, the kind of athletes we have on offense. I mean, you start looking around that room and you start thinking about and visualizing those explosive plays. I mean, that visualization starts today. It starts when we all get together and start making sure that we know, hey, we have to be an offense that goes out there and, and puts our best effort forward every day. So we're gonna start here in this classroom. We're gonna start there in, in these drills. And then we're gonna work to be where we wanna be. What makes you excited? You know, what makes you excited about uh, being a professional athlete, being one of the best at your position, what kind of motivates you every year? Yeah, you know, um, you, you always have to have an understanding of your why. Like, wh why do you come into this building? Why do you live in, in constant soreness and pain? And what are you going through it for? But for me, it's, you know, I love to compete. Um, that's something that, that wakes me up in the morning is just trying to be my best. And right now playing football gives me the best opportunity to do that. I get to go up every day against the best safeties, linebackers, defensive ends that the world can bring. And, you know, when you want to play at a high level and you want to be the best, you have to stand out amongst them. You got to find a way to say, hey, I'm glad you flew that guy in here today. Now I'm here to make him look bad. <laughs> that's and, right. And that's, that's what I do this for. That's what I think everybody gets that when they say well, you're going to miss this game you know they're not going to miss waking up early and being sore and being hurt but you're going to miss is that feeling of man I, I was out here with the best in the world and still able to excel and, and that's what i do it for how do you feel 100 percent. i mean everybody kind of in the off season feels a lot better than they do in the regular oh, season nice. but how do you feel going through a couple injuries over the last few years now with your body? Oh man, I, I think that this is the, probably the best I've ever felt. I think that uh, luckily for me, none of my injuries have been really chronic things. You know, every you're playing a, a very violent sport and you're gonna have things that you have to go through. But you know, when I talk to the doctors and I talk to the therapists and they look at some of my injury history, you know, they always comment on how well it looks on the x-ray and I don't have any, any lingering injuries that, that really, I think, affect me as an athlete. And as well as just, you know, I'm, I'm a lot older and a lot smarter than when I came into the league, so I have a better understanding of how to prepare, how, how to train my body, when I'm feeling good, what works for me. I think it takes so long in this league to start understanding, you know, how do I do it on and off the field every day of a year? And, you know, to be going into my seventh year, you know, I've, I've hit a good comfort zone. In your opinion, what makes Adam Gay so good as a play caller as a communicator and now as a head coach you'll see him a little bit of a different side of him even though he's controlling the offense what, what makes him tick do you think uh, I think that the same thing that, that makes me tick is what makes him tick I think that he has a desire to be extremely good at what he does he wants to compete he wants to go out there and, and put an uh, offense and a team in a position to go beat the best in the world and, and that's the drive and that's what always what's kept us as, as, as close friends and people that kind of see it the same way. But, you know, I think what really makes him good as a coach is his ability to relate. You know, the way he communicates with guys is a lot different. You know, every coach has their own style, but he's able to just come tell you what it is, give you the real, tell you what he expects of you, and then hold you accountable to that. Um, but in an offensive standpoint, you know, there's nobody that understands the details better. You know, from his coaching history, the things he's learned and the way he's grew as an offensive uh, of mind, you know, just to sit there and have him go through a coverage or to have him go through concepts, the, the intricacies that he's talking about and the things that he's going to make sure everybody in that room knows is what allows him to be really good at what he does. 
Lastly, I have to ask you about being in that meeting room for the first time as a member of the Miami Dolphins. Did you get that feel when you kind of looked around and said, you know what, I made the right decision. You know, I had a chance to go other places, but I, I'm glad I'm a member of this football team. No, 100%. I think that it's actually, it's, it's kind of funny, you know, talking to, to friends and family and people that have been around me and know me for a long time, it's, even they have that feeling. You know, everybody I've talked to, man, I'm so excited that you're down there in Miami. You know, I can just tell from the way you're talking. I can just tell from, you know, just your body, your body language, you know, how important and how great it is for you to be there. Um, just even other guys, you know, guys I've played with in the past. You know, I'm working out and we're training out in LA and man, how excited are you to be in Miami? Man, you know, we're, we're just, we're happy for you. And people just uh, are happy, I'm happy. And I think just the feel is good. You know, um, things happen the way they're supposed to happen in the right time. And I think my timing's pretty good right now. Well, every team needs a vibe. Every team needs that special juice to get you to where you need to be. And, and hopefully uh, you'll be another piece to that puzzle on the offensive side to get the Miami Dolphins back in the playoffs and even further in 2017. Julius, thank you so much for your time. We look for catching up to you closer to OTAs and, and the regular season. Yeah, man, we'll, we'll have some fun. And I'm just looking to come and, and add and bring what, what I do really well to this team. And, uh, you know, let's have a little fun. So uh, we'll get after it. Well, I appreciate it, buddy. Thank you, man. Absolutely.